Hello and welcome to Hacks, where we try to simplify cybersecurity. Today we are looking at Hack This Site. It's a website that allows you to test out your hacking skills and potentially learn some new ones. Today we are looking at realistic mission number six. I need to apologize in advance. I was intended on writing my own script for this challenge, but it's proved a little bit more time consuming than I can commit. Uh, with work and other commitments, it's just not feasible at this time. However, we do solve the challenge, which is the main thing. And if somebody's already written a program to solve the solution, then why not use that? So, we have a mission from Toxico Watch. Hello, esteemed hacker. I hope you have some decent cryptography skills. I have some text that I need decrypting. I work for this company called Toxico Industrial Chemicals, which has recently come under fire because of toxic chemicals we are dumping into the nearby river. Ecological inspectors have reported no problems, but it's widely speculated that they were paid off by Toxico management because the water pollution near the Toxico factory has always been a serious and widely publicised issue. I have done some packet sniffing on my network and I have recovered an email that was sent from the CEO of the company by the Chief Ecological Inspector Samuel Smith. However, it is encrypted. I cannot seem to decode it using my basic decryption tools. I have narrowed down the algorithm used to decrypt it, but it's beyond my scope. I was hoping you could take a look. Please check it out. If you could unscramble and reply to this message with the original text, I would much appreciate it. Thank you. So, if we head to the website, what we can see is a message, and it appears to be a period or a full stop followed by three characters, and this repeats throughout the entirety of the message. Looking at it straight away, we can't make heads or tails of it, it's just encoded scrambled data. However, we have been provided with an encryption tool. If we look at the encryption tool, it allows us to input text and an encryption password. So if we just submit an A to it and encrypt it, what we get is three numbers at the top, 14, 36, and 47. Now, if you add those numbers together, which I'm not going to do, but if you add them together, you should get 97, which is the ASCII code value for A, but it's ASCII decimal. Let's just try and get an ASCII table quickly. So it should calculate at 97, which should be a lowercase a. You can do the math for yourself. Now, if we add another value to it, if we add a to that value and encrypt it, what will happen is, is that the a will get converted to ASCII decimal, and then the value of a, which would be 97, gets added to the value of A, which in this case is 97 also. So when these three numbers add up, it will be the value of 97 plus 97. So how do we decrypt this? Well, all we would need to do is take the value that we're being provided in the text So let's say 296 and subtract the password, the ASCII value password from that number and that will give us the original character. Now I did try to write a bash script for this and what it was doing is it was, I, I used said to remove all the periods from it and then I used substring uh, with a position or with a variable for position which would increment on every loop by three so it take the first three digits yeah and that would be the second it'd be the next three digits so every loop it would increment by three so it kept bringing in every three digits then it was going to calculate the sum of those numbers and then based on another variable it was going to subtract an incrementing value and echo the results to the screen this would have allowed me to identify the correct text however due to being on site for work and other sort of commitments in life. I haven't had time to finish it, but I wanted to continue on the realistic track. But fortunately, somebody 
has already written a very cool program in JavaScript that can do it for you. The blog is called Gordon Robinson's, I believe. And if we, he's already included the code, but if we look down here, we can paste our value and then decode it. And you can see there, Samuel Smith, thank you for looking the other way and increasing, uh, thank you for looking the other way on the increased level of toxic chemicals in the river running alongside our industrial facilities. You can pick up your payment of $20,000 in the mailbox at the mansion on the corner of 53 and St. Charles tomorrow between the hours of 3 and 5 a.m. So yeah, that's decrypted. Now all you have to do to solve the puzzle is to grab the text, head back to the main site, head to your username, click on your username again, you need to input his username and then you click submit. I uh, can't remember what his username is, but that will solve the challenge for you. Now, what lessons can be learned from this one? Well, it's about encryption. Yes, it's great to send your message in an encrypted format and to make sure you're using encryption protocols like TLS and SSL. But if you're using um, reversible encryption, then you're going to have a bad time. Um, this type of encryption was fairly easy to logically reverse, and I'm sure for some people very easy to programmically reverse as well. I find it a bit difficult, mainly because I wanted to get the next video up. But if you're using encryption, make sure it's secure encryption. And um, yeah, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, if you find it useful, give me a thumbs up, possibly subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Please hang up and try again.